Uh, obviously, we're, we're uh, extremely excited about this opportunity to continue to play, but play for a championship. Um, to be going back to New York is something that we all really wanted. That was the goal when we uh, were selected to play in the NIT to, to get back to New York. And we have, obviously, we cherish the memories that we just had there. Uh, playing in the Big Ten tournament, uh, we had a lot of guys play very well. So we're we're, uh, we're fired up. We're looking forward to competing against a great Mississippi team and, and Coach Ben Helen. And uh, hopefully we can you know make it to Thursday and cut down some nets. What's impressed you most about uh, this run for the team through the NIT and maybe even going back to the Big Ten tournament? I think it's uh, how they that they continue to get better, and we're doing it without Mike Watkins. And we did it a little bit without Nas, so we had to shorten our bench. Um, really uh, loved the way John Harar's playing. Thought Jamari played really well. They, they played 42 minutes collectively, and I thought they gave us great minutes. And I think John and Julian are doing their, their job at the five spot. Um, the last couple games, Tony's been terrific. Shep's playing like a leader and a senior. And Lamar's game, I think he had a little bit of a breakout game against Marquette and Josh has been steady for the most part. So I think we're, we're getting better, we're getting older, we're going to utilize these experiences for our future. What have you seen from John lately having stepped into that starting role in terms of what you've seen from him and how much this postseason experience can benefit him moving forward? Yeah, the, the more minutes that he's getting, the better he's playing. I mean, he just had nine rebounds in 22 minutes. Uh, his defense is outstanding. His ball screen de defense is outstanding. I'll take you back to Temple. He has a huge deflection in order to get a turnover so we can tie the score late in that game with less than three minutes to go. The other night I thought his defense was great, especially against those little guards who love to shoot threes. So he's right in the right position. He's bent, ready to go, high active hands, finds a body. They're giving him the ball more, but he's not always going to score. He's just making really solid decisions. You can see he's enjoying himself out there, and you can see the guys are really starting to get used to him being out there, and they, they're in, there's some connectivity or cohesion out there between John and the other four starters. If I could just follow up to that, what's his confidence like? I mean, things that, I mean, he looks confident out there, but things that we don't see maybe, has he always been that confident? Well, I, you know, to be a two-star, uh, two-athlete, uh, you know, football and basketball, to be a stud the way he is, I mean, he better have some confidence. Right. And he's making his free throws. I always look at the free throws. He's made two okay. uh, against Temple. He made two against Notre Dame. I think he made two against Marquette. So he's shooting really good free throws. Um, he also did a, a fake dribble handoff and, w and went and tried to lay it in himself. That shows you he's starting to feel better out there, more comfortable out there. And, and again, I go back to his teammates. I think the te his teammates are giving him the confidence to go make plays. Can you maybe put into context Shep's evolution from a year ago at this time to now and how much maybe more confidence, clutchness, you know? I just think, you know, when you're a senior and you're 22, you know, the light kind of, light kind of comes on and you kind of figure things out a little bit. Now, it wasn't easy for him going from having the ball in his hands for two straight years to not having the ball in his hands. So that took a little bit of an adjustment and we were young. And you know, he was trying to do a lot. He was trying to lead, he was trying to score, he was trying to take care of the locker room, take care of practice. So that's a lot of responsibility. And I think he had an incredible senior year to be able to break John, uh, Joe Crispin's record and, and to shoot the way he's been shooting, but lead the way he's been leading. And how about his defense? I mean, I'll take you, there's been many uh, games that he's played great defense, but Ohio State, you know, he gets the steal. The, the game before that, Northwestern, he gets, takes the charge. His defense has gotten so much better. He played those Marquette guards really well, specifically Zero and, and, and Howard. Um, man, that's a senior, that's a leader. That, that's a kid who doesn't want a season to end. Mississippi State beat Louisville pretty handedly. How many times have you watched the tape and what kind of jumps out to you when it comes to Mississippi State? So I went back a little bit. I haven't watched that game yet because they, they press and play zone. Uh, Louisville does. I watched Nebraska because we played Nebraska uh -huh. twice. So you always get, because you have a great feel for Nebraska, you want to see what Tim Miles did. So I watched that today and I watched LSU because LSU plays man and they're a little bit long and rangy. So I wanted to see what they did. Um, look, they ton of speed, ton of athleticism. In the last five or six games, they're averaging 8.4, 8.5 threes per game. So they've added that to their arsenal over the last. 10 days to two weeks. They really didn't shoot the ball particularly well all year. So now they're shooting the ball much better. And it's a Ben Helen coach team, so you know they're gonna to be tough. 
on the defensive end. You know they're going to be rebound. They're really going to challenge challenge you uh, in the paint. They're going to challenge your shots. So uh, I remember Ben style teams from my days when I was at Villanova, and he was at Pitt right before he went to UCLA. So it, it, it'll, it'll be a great game for sure. What has Julian's role been in John's development these last couple weeks and his performances? That's a, that's a great question. Julian Moore is 23, fifth year senior, who's put you know who's taken John Harar under his under his wing, and you know to allow a freshman to start and be okay with it, it's pretty impressive. To not have an ego and go, no, this is what's best for the team. Start him. I'm still going to play half the game. I'm totally fine with that. Uh, I think it, it just shows you a lot about Julian's character and his desire to to see John succeed and see the team succeed. So he's really helped John slow him down a little bit. You can see John's confidence level. He's not playing at a crazy pace anymore. Not flying around. He's just playing really solid basketball. And I credit Julian more with really helping him. Was there a moment this year for John that kind of you really saw his potential and, and could trust him if, if you needed to put him out there and like you have starting him here? You know what it was? It was during the foreign tour. Because <laughs> everybody thought we were going to redshirt him. And he just competed every single day. And he came to practice every day. Never a bad attitude. Always working hard to get better. Um, even when he wasn't playing, I'd look down from that window right there, and he'd be down here working hard, working on his go-tos and counters, his free throws, his mid-range. That, that's something to be said for a kid like that who truly believed that he would end up playing, and guess what? He was ready, because some kids might go the other way. They might have a bad attitude, oh, I'm never going to play, so why am I going to get in the gym? Why am I going to work extra? It's not going to work out for me. We'll just worry about it next year. That's not his mentality. That wasn't his attitude. His attitude was, I'm going to work. So when my name is called, or when my number's called, I'm going to be ready. And he absolutely sees the moment. And there's something to be said for that, because some, some kids might go the other way.